I've had some requests to do a tutorial on how to make bottle cap embellishments and um, I'm going to show you two different methods of doing it. This is using glossy accents and then these are actually using the epoxy dots and they have a very similar look. So what you'll need to do is um, start with bottle caps and there are two different kinds um, you can get them lined or unlined and I actually have both the reason why is if you use the unlined you can do them this direction and put your image here if you would like this is actually good when you do your image this way because I use that extra padding and I put a dot on the back and glue it in and it pops it up a little bit more so that when you put your dimensional in there it sticks a little better the, to the page because it fills some of the space in the back. So that's just a matter of personal preference. Some people buy these and then take the liner out as well. So whatever you prefer. So um, you just need some punched out images. What I do is, is you can even print your own. This is just printed on a manila folder. And then you take your one inch hole punch and just punch out the image. And you can resize it on your computer program and just make sure that your image is about one by one. It can be, as you can see, these images are actually a little bit longer than one inch, but they need to be at least one by one. So you'll punch it out, and then I have distressed mine around the edges just because I like the look of it. If you don't like the look, you don't have to do that. And then you'll just take your bottle cap. I like to use glossy accents to glue the image on just because it doesn't come off afterwards. Sometimes if you use other glues they don't really adhere well to the metal and so you end up with it coming off at a later time. So the ones that I've stuck down with glossy accents I know for sure have never come off. So again a matter of preference. You might be able to get away with doing it with a hot glue gun but the thing is is you want to make the image really flat and smooth so if you think you can do that with a glue gun then go for it. But so I would use glossy accents on both of these and just stick it down. Just make sure it's really straight when you put it on so that your image looks good quality on the bottle cap. So that. And then if you buy these epoxy dots, you just get the one inch epoxy dots and then just it's like a sticker and you'll just stick it on. I just make sure, see how I'm lining it up? Make sure you line it up really good with the image because the image is exactly one by one when you use that one inch punch. You want to make sure that your dot goes on precisely so that it looks nice when you're done. So that would be my finished dot right there and I just press down everywhere evenly just to make sure that it adheres really well. You cannot pull this back off once you've stuck it on so that's why you want to line it up in the beginning. So there is our finished bottle cap right there. And then for the other one you would just take it and you pull your glossy accents on top. The key with this is you have to make sure that you have enough glossy accents on it to create that bubble. If you just barely put put um, glossy accents on the top and you leave it, it really does not have a thick enough layer and you'll end up with cracking and it just doesn't look as good quality. Now see how I've got a little bubble right there? You want to make sure you never ever ever shake up your glossy accents because that just puts bubbles in it. But whenever I get one I just make sure you pop that before this dries because you'll never be able to get it out once it's dried. So see how I'm just kind of feathering out towards the edges just to make sure you want to be sure that your edges look really round and go around the image because if you leave a little lump on it, like see that little lump right there? That little lump is going to be there when it dries and it doesn't look very nice. So, so that would be it. It looks like that now. See how it's all cloudy and everything? And I would maybe even put just a little bit more over here. So I like mine to be, whoa, and you don't want that to happen. Okay, if that happens, don't freak out. Just see how I just scooped it off. Not a big deal. Okay, so.
that will dry and then it will look like this. This is actually done with the glossy accents and see how it just creates that bubble on top. So I hope that was helpful and thank you for watching. Quick side note, if you would like yours to be smashed like these, see how it's thinner? You can run those through your Big Shot or your other machines that's in between the two plates and it just will smash it right flat and then you can put your image just the same way as I've showed you. Also another option, if you look at this one, see how there's a hole punched in there? I just used an ordinary punch, see how that it's the small one? I just used that and punched out the metal and then you can hang a charm from it. And then this one here, I actually put some metal, a metal piece underneath and then put the epoxy dot on top. So that's an option as well. So there are lots of things you can do. Put lace around the edges. This has lace on it where I just gathered it around and glued it underneath. And then I put the bottom dot right on top of that so it gives it more of a finished look. So have fun.